Meghan McCain says that women would be labeled hysterical, maniac, crazy B-words if they behaved like President Trump. On The View on Monday, the host slammed the men who defended the president on TV news shows over the weekend amid an impeachment inquiry storm. Any of the women on this show behaved the way some of the men were behaving, we would be hysterical, maniac, crazy bitches all over the internet, and these guys get away yeah. with behaving that way. And I was so angry. They had come undone. Yes, but the blatant sexism and the way some of these men are being covered and the way we're covered in the media, yeah. I was furious. I McCain also called the 47 tweets the president has posted since the impeachment inquiry was announced by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi a, quote, tornado of stupid. All right, let's see what our A-plus panel thinks about the, quote, unquote, tornado of stupid. Ronica Cleary, Republican strategist, back with us. Good to see you, Ronica. Good to be here, Bill. And Bill Caruso, attorney and Democratic strategist. Good to see you, Bill. Hey, Bill. Ronica, I'll start with you on this. Meghan McCain, uh, just bitter, angry, looking for attention. What do you think? I think it's all of that. And, you know, to her point about the way the media might characterize women differently from men, that is not new or a revelatory comment, right? That's part of being a woman in the public spotlight. It doesn't mean it's always right. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't push back, but this is not some like monumental assessment from Meghan McCain. Do you think that still exists, that difference? I mean, I don't know. It seemed to me that Hillary Clinton got a bit of a fair shake, I mean, at least compared to Bill. Trump during the campaign. What do you think? I, I, don't, I don't agree with that at all. I, I think that she was, uh, you, the, the shrill word was used frequently where you know, basically didn't see a differentiation. But I say, I will say this, it depends. But that doesn't mean there aren't any negative criticisms that are specific to men there, as well. There are. Happens. And I was just about to say that in certain mediums, for example, a you know middle-aged white male walking into the Twitter sphere, you're going to get your head handed to you in a, in a certain way if you're not careful. So I think it depends. And in this medium, a, a, an afternoon TV show that's the demographic is probably mostly women. This was red meat for her base. Is this just another way of hitting President Trump and has really nothing to do with this? He's just looking for a creative angle? Well, I don't think it was a creative angle. I I'll say this to you. I love what Speaker Pelosi said here. I actually agree with her on this. And, and I do think that this thing is turning into some extent a clown show. There are some serious issues being alleged here against President of the United States, by the President of the United States, we should get at those issues. Monica, is that it? We've, we've kind of devolved. It's almost not a serious conversation anymore. We've gone away from facts. They almost don't matter anymore. That's not new in the media space. That is true. Thanks, guys.